Hey everybody, Jake here from The Raven The Boys. Today we're doing my favorite kind of video. We're doing another haul video. So I got a couple Omnis, Absolute, some standard size hardcovers, a library edition. We're gonna talk about what each book is, why I bought it, and you know what? This just gives me another excuse to buy more books for another haul video. I wanna give a shout out to our sponsor, Organic Price Books. They're an amazing website with amazing packaging. Like the packaging is like the best I've ever seen and they're a great place to buy books. So if you wanna buy any of these books there, you can use the code BRAVEBOYS to save $2. Or if you wanna buy three or more books together, you can use the code BRAVEBOYS SIT to save 5%. Uh, I also wanna give a shout out to our merch. I'm not rocking the Brave and the Boys shirt because, you know, Gotta show off some Joker for one of my absolutes I'll be showing in this video. But we do have a Brave and the Boys mug and coasters and dog beds, everything you could ever dream. And lastly, I wanna give a shout out to our Brave and the Boys Discord. So that'll be linked down below. I wanna really just foster a community. Like I really, I would rather be smaller on YouTube, but have a dedicated community of viewers that we can talk about, should I buy this comic? Let's post good deals. Let's post pictures of Jake's cat, you know? So the Discord's gonna be a lot of fun. I really hope it grows. And I just wanna say thank you for making this all possible. Guys, let's dive in and talk about why I bought these books. Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time. The Legion of Doom. Up first are two of the best books I have ever read done by the same author and artist, Daniel Warren Johnson. I've always heard from people like Bunk and Jordan and Omnidog that he's incredible. And oh my God, he is incredible. Duo Powerbomb is about a family of wrestlers and someone trying to make it and honor their family. I can't tell much more about all the crazy things that happen in this storyline, but essentially they get the opportunity to fight for an incredible prize that would change their lives. And it is a tag team match and that's about all I can say, but where this story goes and what it deals with is absolutely incredible. Then we have Murder Falcon. Murder Falcon might be the best comic I have ever read. So it deals with metal. I mean, that's the thing about Daniel Warren Johnson. This deals with wrestling, this deals with metal, things that you might not be a fan of and might say, that's not for me, but he makes you fall in love with them. And I just wanted to shred out to metal rock music with this band. So essentially you have Jake and he has this guitar and every time he plays a chord, it summons out Merv, the murder falcon, and they fight monsters. And along the way he recoups his band, every one of them gets their own little interdimensional monster that fights when they play music. And it just deals with the power of music to overcome grief and loss and life. And it is a amazing hard rocking story and the art is just next level on these. The word that Bunk likes to use to talk about it, I was saying all these you know, words that weren't describing it. I was like, oh, it's energetic, it's very alive. And Bunk hit the nail on the head when he said it's kinetic. And there's just so much motion in his art. And I don't think anyone writes comics like him. You gotta check these books out. They're the best ones I bought. So we're not just talking about books that I hauled, though I did haul Uncanny X-Men 3 and 5. We are looking at the custom dust jackets. So for those of you that don't know, there's no possible way to get all five Uncanny X-Men with matching spines. They've only printed four with the big spine and five with the small spine. So a lot of people have all big spines and then one small spine. Or for me, I had small, 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 big, small. So thank you to Roy for saving me with that. Even more egregious was the Hick Avengers. The A's didn't align. Oh my God. It was like, I love looking at my books on the bookshelf and these were driving me crazy. So thank you so much for helping me out, Roy. Can't wait to read these. Can't wait to read these. In fact, this is actually up on my reading list. I'm reading Secret Warriors first, then Fantastic Four. Then I'll read these. But yeah, I'm super excited to dive in. I've heard nothing but good things about these. X-Men seems a little daunting to get through, but you know what? Gotta have to read it someday. Let's jump into the next book that I got. So next up is my first library edition. I'm a huge Absolute fan. I know there's no slip case, but library editions are still really badass. This year I read my first book with Michael Allred art and Laura Allred coloring. It was Dan Slott's Silver Surfer and I fell in love with it. And then I followed it up by Superman Space Age, which is one of the best books I've ever read. So when I heard that there was a book written and drawn by Michael Allred, a character that just seems really wacky and zany. The art looks incredible. I, there, and I was, a lot of people were baiting me into this. Shout out to Josh Greathouse, author of 
artist and author of the legendary Bang indie comic series, was always baiting me, get Mad Men, get all 15 issues. I think there's four volumes of Mad Men, but you know what? I decided I'm gonna take the plunge. I'll buy the first one. And if I love it, I'll buy the rest because you know, of course I will. But Mad Men looks awesome. So it's supposed to be really incredible and I can't wait to dive in. You guys knew there were gonna be a few absolutes on this video. You know, I'm a sucker for them. And I picked up two that one was newer, one was a little older that I've always wanted. So Absolute Flashpoint, you know it's my mission to collect every DC Crisis event in Absolute, though there's no zero hour, so you know I might be waiting a long time. But I went to Washington, DC, to an amazing comic book shop in Annapolis and called Third Eye Comics, and they had this there, and you know what, I couldn't say no. Batman Three Jokers, I was conflicted on. Three issues an absolute you know and it but oh my god they're like the three best drawn issues you've ever seen so this follows up that big mysterious question of when batman on the mobius chair asks who the joker is and he goes no that's impossible and he finds out there are three jokers so this dives into that story it has red hood barbara gordon and but the art by jason fabuk is next level insane so i had to own in the absolute I also own the standard size hardcover, it's somewhere. <laughs> this I own in the Omnibus, and but you know what, some books you just have to double dip in the Absolutes, and I did with these. Hands down, this book, or the story of me getting this book, is why I'm an Organic Price Book loyalist, even if they didn't sponsor these videos. So before I picked up from Organic Price Books, at the early beginning of the year, uh, I got an email from Cheap Graphic Novel saying one of the books in your wish list is available for pre-order. And it was this book, but a different cover. I pre-ordered it and then months went by and I never heard anything. Finally, I got an email saying, we're sorry to say Marvel canceled that cover and we're canceling your pre-order. And I was devastated because later this year, Mark Wade's Daredevil is coming out and then I'd have basically almost all the Daredevil Omnis that I want. And I, I, I was really bummed and I Facebook messaged JP and he was like, yo, I got one copy left, man. It's yours if you want it. And I was like, oh my God, you are my savior. So I guess they did a restock a few weeks prior of this cover and he had one copy left. So Organic Price Books, best customer service. They saved my butt on this one and that's why I always buy for them in the future. But yeah, so Charles Soule's Daredevil run. From what I know of this, it takes place after Mark Wade's. So Brian Michael Bendis, Brubaker, Andy Diggle with Shadowlands, it's all dark, gritty, you know, Daredevil. Mark Wade is that more refreshing take where he moves to LA. It's really fun, you know, it's more, you know, more light this is the return to classics he's back in hell's kitchen i know there's a really interesting story called daredevil punisher seventh circle that i'm really excited to read but i'm gonna have to wait until the mark wade omnis come out later this year but then i'm gonna devour this because daredevil is my favorite marvel hero but let's look at what else i got i'm gonna call this next book a blind buy for me but i mean it is alan moore and alan moore it's like almost impossible for him to write a bad comic everything he writes is a masterpiece I've seen the art by J.H. Williams. He's one of my favorite comic artists of all time. His Sandman overture is like mind boggling amazing. And I've seen Omar talk about how these absolutes were his pride and joy. That being said, I'm an absolute fiend for absolutes, but these have been out of print for so long. I know they talked about doing a omnibus that was in the landscape orientation, but that never came out. And I have never read Promethea because I've always been waiting for to get the absolutes or for that omnibus, you know, to get resolicited. Then Amazon did their buy two, get one free sale. I checked it. I thought, hey, maybe if the Prometheus were on here, that'd be cool. But they never lined up at the same time. And then one of my friends in the Near Mint Discord were like, hey, all three Prometheas are on the buy two, get one free sale. So you know what? I said, screw it. I'll buy the deluxes. Maybe I'll get the absolutes down the road if I read these and love it, you know, or if they get reprinted but I'm very happy to finally own Promethea and to read this magnificent story with probably even more magnificent art. This next part of the video might as well be sponsored by the Unstoppable Bar and the Annoying Omnidog. We did a live stream and for some reason, I let Omnidog and Bar bully me into spending money without even thinking. And when she heard I only had Harleen as my only Harley book, Omnidog and Bar couldn't sit with that. So they bullied me. Luckily, I got these both from Organic Price Books. I also threw on a third book. I think I threw on Thor for Jordan because he hadn't bought Jason Aaron's Thor yet. We got our 5% off with the code BRAVEBOYSIT. 
I use my own code, guys. I also Google search myself, and I watch my own YouTube videos. There, I admit it. I don't know much about these. I only know Harley because I love the animated HBO series, uh, Harley. She's an amazing character. My one thing that I told them was, I'm not into Harley stories where she's just the Joker's girlfriend. So I said, if these books are that, I don't want them. And they've assured me they are not that. So I'm excited to tear into both of these. Harley's an amazing character that I definitely need to read more of. So thank you, OPB. Thank you, Omnidog. And thank you, Unstoppable Bar. Next up is Nightwing Volume 3, Battle for Bloodhaven. This is my current favorite ongoing DC series. It is my favorite character in all of comics. I mean, I named my cat Grayson because the name Dick for a cat and the name Nightwing for a cat, my girlfriend couldn't agree to, but we agree on Grayson. Um, I love this book. I love this series. I've actually already filmed an overview of this. I don't know if that's going to drop first or if this will drop first. So if this does drop first, surprise. If this drops later, not a surprise. But guys, you have to read this. This series gets better and better. I've read the issues that will make a volume four and it gets even better. Like some amazing moments. This is just pure, unadulterated Dick Grayson. It's everything you want your Nightwing to be. He's not Rick Grayson, so you don't have anything to fear. Guys, this book is absolutely a masterpiece. And you have to read it. DC didn't decide to just drop one Dark Crisis book. They decided to drop three. There's actually four, but one of them I'm not counting because that book is absolutely offensive and terrible. I'm not even going to say it here, but it rhymes with Young Mustis Dark Crisis. Don't read it. It's terrible. But what you should read is Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths and the two spinoffs. So to give you a little bit of background, this is the follow-up of what they had been brewing since after Death Metal. So it went Infinite Frontier, then Justice League Incarnate, and now this. And this is awesome. So all you need to know is that Pariah, infused with dark energy, just blasts the Justice League and they're, they're all the heroes are gone. And it deals with the fallout of what the world would be like if all the main heroes are gone. And what I love is that like a lot of the reactions from them are like, well, they've been gone before, they'll be back, you know? But you really get to see Jonathan Kent step up, you get to see Nightwing step up and it's amazing. Um, this one right here deals with alternate worlds of the Justice League. My favorite is the Superman run written by Tom King, my favorite writer. This one deals with the aftermath of the fall of the Justice League and this one is the main event. So it's kind of annoying to technically be like, read one volume here and then two volumes here and then one volume here and then another one here. I mean, I, but you know, we gotta wait for the omnibus to come out, you know, to read in the right order. I'll definitely do an overview of what to read to fully experience Dark Crisis. I'll do a video on, you know, the reading order of how to read them all in order. Um, I, however, like I said, I will not be including Young Justice Dark Crisis because that book is very offensive to me. I love those characters and I, think it's a very bad story these however definitely worth reading and if you buy all three of them you can use the code brave boy sit to save five percent next up we have the mini deaths of layla star this was a book that i have heard people talk about as their favorite book of the year last year i've always wanted to read it me and jordan made a trade i gave him the planetary omnibus when i bought the absolute he gave me this and i read it on the plane to dc and oh my god it is incredible it's one of my favorite things I've ever read. It deals with the goddess of death. She gets called up to work to see the big boss one day. And they say, hey, we're going to let you go. The human that is going to create immortality was just born. So, bye. Time to be a human. And it chronicles the lives and deaths that she deals with as a human as she interacts with, interacts with this human that creates immortality. So it deals, it's a meditation on life on love, on loss, death, grief, everything. It's an incredible art, an amazing story, and everyone should pick this up. And there we have it, folks. Those were the books I bought. This was a lot of fun. I love making these videos. I probably can't keep making these videos because my girlfriend's getting a little mad at what I'm spending. But if you do want to help make these videos possible, you can buy some of these books from Organic Price Books where I will earn a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It actually gives you a discount. So you can use the code BRAVEBOYS to save $2 or if you're buying three or more books together, you can use the code BRAVEBOYSIT to save 5%. Another way you can support the channel is by buying our merch. 
So we have a red bubble, like I said in the intro. And guys, I just wanna give you a huge thank you for this video. We're so close to a thousand subscribers. That is the milestone I never dreamed of hitting before. But honestly, you all made this possible. So comment down below what book you wanna see an overview of first. Though I'll be honest, we already filmed an overview for a couple of these. Um, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, ring that bell for notifications. You know what? I'm gonna buy one of those little animations of someone clicking a bell. So I can say, ring that bell for notifications and the bell clicks. Uh, but for real guys, thank you so much. And all of you, keep reading and stay brave.